Uh, hey everyone, I've been asked to explain um, my equipment, um, my basically my mobile equipment. Um, so I'm going to do everything in one hit, so you see everything I'm going to cover, the backpack, the, um, the uh, um, spider holster, um, spider monkey, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Ravini labs, uh, light meters, everything that I take with me. Um, or someone I don't know. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, in terms of backpack, I use the Slingshot Edge. It's the 250 uh, AW. Um, so I'm going to stick that on for you now and show you all my <laughs> geeky modifications. Let's put that in the um, Okay, uh, first of all, I have my press badge here, which is. Um, which is Velcroed, um, and I can always show it to a police officer. That's me, press, let me through. Um, and that sits quite nicely Velcroed there. And that's nice and geeky. Um, this is the spider holster, um, which is really cool. Uh, I'll show you other bits and pieces to that in a minute. Um, uh, but it comes with, oh, let me do this up first. Um, so this is my, okay, so that's that. And then this is me getting ready to go out. Um, and I have the spider holster, which um, I've been told is completely wrong to fit it like this. But if I do fit it correctly, which is this bit here, not, not the quick release plate, but this bit here, they wanted me to have it this way, or they tell you to put it this way. And if they don't, they won't honor their warranty. Um, but if you do do it that, if you have it there, then this ball sits out here, and then it sits right in the middle of your palm, and it's really uncomfortable, you know, so you have to kind of hold it really weird. So having it this way, it's, you know, you've got your hand free here. So it doesn't interfere with your shooting, which I think is great. Um, so I type really tight in here. And then I put my quick release plate underneath that. Um, the other advantage of this over here is that you'll see the quick release plate uh, handle sits nicely under there, no issues. Anyway, I also have my Peak Design strap, which I have, even though I'm insured on my camera, uh, I like to make sure that if this drops, it won't hit the floor. Um, so that fits in nicely like that and sits, hopefully you can see it, like that, and then you just, away you go, it's great. Don't have any issues with that. Okay, so, um, that's that part. Then, other great spider inventions. Um, oh yes, so let me show you. So, so I'm out in the field, I set my tripod up, ready to take some shots, and then it's a simple matter, I'll do my strap if you use it, and then this will click in, and away you go. Fantastic. And clip straight on your strap, and off you go. Now, I'll show you what I meant about this working. Hopefully, you can see it. That goes in, and this knob here sits under nicely. You don't. It just doesn't get in the way. Yeah, perfect. So get that out of the way now. So this is me going out and having a lot of fun. Now, I used to, this is my beautiful Sekonic L858D, and I have attached a, um, a spider monkey, um, which is a clip. Fantastic. So I used to carry this around me when I went out. And what you do is put this on your belt. And this clips in nicely, like that. So hopefully you can see that. Take your light reading, put it in, and away you go. Boom. Okay, so that's all nice. So, but now I only use this for studio. And I'll tell you the reason for that soon. Also, with my um, Pocket Wizard Plus 3, uh, when I'm in studio, I also have that sitting in a second one here. 
um, so that I can just fire the trigger from here. So that's all good. Um, oh yes, now let me show you while I'm thinking of it. So, if you were in the studio, you just take this bracket out, this shoe out, stick that on your belt, And it is tricky because it's such a strong clip, which is good. And now, just that clip there, it will sit on your belt. I hope you can see that. And away you go. So, and then when you're ready to hit the road again, just take that off. <laughs> and it's good that it's tight. Stick it back on, it clips in the locks, and then away you go. Okay, uh, last but not least, um, I now have the Ravini Labs spot meter, which is now what I use all the time when I go out. Um, I've tested it thoroughly uh, against my Sekonic, and I'm quite happy that it's accurate. Um, so what I do is I clip that to my uh, pack as well. But what I found was this was flying around. When I walk, it flies around and knocks into everything. Um, so what I did, again, the beauty of Velcro. And I have a little bit of Velcro on the clip here. Boom. And now it doesn't move. Great. Now, I also bought the end caps, which I have not used once mainly because I've got this end cap that comes with it. And to do this every time, you know, if I want it, I know it's, you can have it on and off, but I find that a bit fiddly. Whereas, um, I prefer this, you know, when I'm storing it, that came with it, which is perfectly um, acceptable for protection. So I put this on here. Um, I've got it sitting in the bag. I think this is a, a, a much better protection than the end caps uh, from scratches and all that kind of stuff. So I recommend, well, for me anyway, it works like that. It works for me to have um, this um, covering it rather than that. And then when I'm walking about, I still have this. So I have that sat there. Whenever I want to take a reading, just flip it off and away you go. End cap back on for the sun and it sticks. And you don't have to be, oh, got it wrong, right, right, that's it. Yeah, so it sticks. It doesn't have to be dead on accurate because a little bit of Velcro and away you go. But without it, you see, it's moving around. But with the Velcro, excellent. Don't you love these little things that work great? Anyway, so that's me set and that's how I go out. I don't no longer have my beautiful L858D. I don't see a need for it. Um, so that now is purely for my studio work. Okay, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, if you did, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you've got any questions about any of this, uh, leave comments below. Um, that's it. Um, enjoy.